few years ago, I came across a YouTube video. Um, this was around the same time uh, when podcasts started blowing up, and uh, it was it was a little after the uh, whole disease and things went around. And during this time, one of my friends asked because I was on TikTok, you know, doing um, just trying to build out like a following on TikTok, right? And one of my friends asked if I've seen this guy that lives in Sweden and has a bunch of guns. Okay. I was like, no, he showed me the guy seemed like he was a bald guy. He had glasses. He was like screaming and stuff at the, at the phone. The stuff that he was saying was like kind of legit. So I looked into it. Guy's name was Andrew Tate. Looked his name up on YouTube and found um, a whole podcast listen to this podcast and this was my first exposure to red pill or what what is now known as the red pill i guess it was um took me a little bit to kind of understand his ideas uh but a lot of the stuff that he was saying had some meaning behind it some weight behind it some of the stuff he said i i was like okay that's a little it's different than normal but that doesn't mean it's wrong. Doesn't mean it's right either. So I was genuinely just curious. So I looked at more videos and then I came across this podcast live stream thing called Fresh and Fit. Now, if you know Red Pill, you know for sure Andrew Tate. You know Fresh and Fit and you probably know a little bit of where I'm going with this. When Watching these guys in this red pill industry, um, whether it's like in Fresh and Fit calling out these girls, um, saying that the girls did this wrong and that women shouldn't be this way and um, that men need to have many women uh, in order to be truly fulfilled because men's ultimate destiny is to conquer, right? So conquer as many women as possible. But yet the women must be promiscuous and must only be with one guy. And there's this contradiction that I found. During this time when I was watching it, majority of the ideas I agreed with. And this is where the danger comes. See, when there is a majority of truth being told and a minuscule amount that is exaggerated over the top, that little exaggeration gets looped into the majority. And so now you believe the majority of the stuff that they say, but you also begin to adopt ideas that are extreme and outside of the norm. While I have never been someone who believed that men should be with multiple women, that men should um, be, you know, go out with a ton of different uh, women all the time and date them all at the same time, and well, I've never believed that, it began to make sense in my head. And this... I later came to find out it was a danger. See, when reading, um, whether it's books about masculine, being a masculine man, um, or it's listening to podcasts, and listening to other people tell you how to be a man, what you find is contradicting opinions. In the sad part is that me and you are looking to other people to tell us how to be a man. See, there's, there's this book. There's this book that I've read and would highly recommend you reading. Stephen Areno, Hard Times Create Strong Men. Now, what he talks about in a certain chapter of this book is this 
um, red pill, almost like pickup game, pickup artist, right? This industry, and this book I think was written in 2017, okay? What he talks about is how all of these men later on in their life ultimately are not happy. See, because what pickup is and what this, this art of picking up women, this ultimately gives men the idea that they should treat women as inferior to them. And while when you read the Bible, it states that a wife should submit to her husband while a husband should serve his wife. That does not mean that women are any less than men. It simply means that there has roles in life, in relationships, and God is the ultimate server, provider. Thus, us as men submit to God. See, if we try to take power in our own hands and use these pickup line tactics, these pickup game methods to convince a woman to be with us, inevitably that woman was manipulated. And eventually, she will come to the conclusion that she was manipulated. I don't care how long you put on the macho man, masculine mentality, I'm independent, I'm going to do this my way, you come along for the ride because I'm the leader, I provide for you. No matter how long you put that on, you will never, ever, truly feel love. And recently, I've learned this the hard way. See, recently... I've gone back to my ways of putting on that macho man mentality. The one where I'm in control. I dictate what's going on in my life, in my relationship, in the world around me. I control my world and people are just in my own world. See, this is what Red Pill promotes, being a masculine man. And what I've come to realize is that when you operate out of me, 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 I, 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 this, 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 this is for me, everything's for me, the world revolves around me. When you operate out of that, you aren't living in full abundance. You aren't living out of love, out of joy, out of compassion for other people. No, instead you are living out of scarcity. You're living out of fear. You're not fully living. And in this book, he talks about these people who live this way, who who seem to have it all. Right? They have the money, they have the fame, they have the fortune, they have the girls. They, ha- they seem to have it all. But yet, they're not happy. They're not fulfilled. And they have yet to find the one true thing in their life that could bring them happiness that could ensure that they have that abundance. And ultimately, them holding on 
to the one thing they're controlled they can control themselves they can control their own mind they i have control them living in that control mechanism is keeping them away from experiencing a life of bliss ultimately love is unknown it's scary being vulnerable is not easy as a man letting your feelings and emotions like come out is is weird but it's needed in order to find love as a man you must understand that it is okay to feel it is okay to let your emotions out to open up a bit give control to god and let him guide you in the way that you need to go see when you are in control and you do your things and and you order people the way that they need and i'm the leader so i'm going to do what i need in order to get what i want right when you operate under that you are inevitably going to be alone So I urge you, if you're on this red pill path and you've been on it for a year or more, start going out and opening up. Being vulnerable a bit. Letting a girl that you like or know, letting her know that you have insecurities. Because we're all human, we do. And it's okay. Because if that person truly loves you, then they're going to be okay with that. No one wants another father in their relationship. No one wants a mother in their relationship. People want partners. And in order to have a partner and a relationship that works, one in which the, you're connected with each other, where you both love each other equally and can grow and thrive and build businesses and families and, and just live this life together, in order to get that, you must place your trust in that other person. You cannot always be in control. And I'm telling you this because I need to hear this. I need to fix this. So, Go out and start loving. And if you enjoyed this, check in the description the brotherhood of men who talk just like this. A safe place to experience what it is to be a man. Check that brotherhood below. And if you're just watching on YouTube, let me know what you think. Give me feedback in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't, otherwise, hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you listening. Thank you.